Hello, beloved. May this season bring some peace and ease. The Shakti Fest is normally in the spring around Mother's Day. It's the celebration of the divine feminine. And obviously from the corona, it was postponed. And then we were going to try and do it physically, postponed from May in November. And obviously we all know that um, those kind of things, unless you're disregarding of other people, um, big gatherings aren't encouraged. So it went virtual. We all recorded our classes and music sessions and workshops. Everybody recorded in their homes and, and it's very intimate and very wonderful. And so it, we spent the entire weekend with the Shakti Fest over this new moon, which is uh, the, the November new moon is the Diwali, the celebration of light which is always the same paradox like yoga, you know, the in-breath and the out-breath, the yin and the yang, that paradox of a new moon where there is no light and the celebration of the illumination and the divine light within. So we kind of do lots of prayers. We all do lots of prayers for lots of things. And uh, one of the... Um, Prayers, of course, is to Mother Earth and the sweetness of the mother, the sweetness of the divine feminine, the power of the divine feminine. I think we can kind of expand that and celebrate on this uh, new, um, what will happen in January and this support of the power and the sensitivity of the divine feminine. So we ask that uh, she reign supreme and shine her grace on us. So whenever you can take advantage of these gatherings of celebrations, then please do an update on um, the Tuesday, Thursday class, this noon class. I believe sooner than later, we will be offering live in person as well as Zoom in the tent at Desert AIDS Project. It's a huge tent, 2,000 square feet. It's all marked out with AstroTurf, little circles for each of us to keep our social distancing. And um, so that's going to be a wonderful opportunity. So when you feel like being in person, you're able to come to the far, far corner of DAP and the parking lot way over there. And there's a big tent with scalloped fringe around it. Really cute. So that's a good news. And um, there'll be more things offered there, of course, also. Also put in your calendar that next Tuesday, is it next Tuesday, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving? Yes? Okay. Next Tuesday, we're going to be live at the, so far at the convention center outside where we've been doing our our, be, our um, live classes. So next Tuesday, I'm going to do the noon class live um, as well as Zoom from the convention center. And Thanksgiving morning, there'll be one class only at 9 a.m. at the convention center also, which is a nice place. And it should be warm because we can be in the sun and big sky. And so come celebrate family yoga, gratitude yoga, as well as get yourself prepared for whatever happens next Tuesday, we'll be outside. So it'll be nice. So far, so good. Stay tuned. I'm not sure. Um, always at the location, we could move to the park. You never know. So let's stretch up and get our illumination to shine brightly within. And shake out your hands. Hi, Brenda. Shake out your hands. Set up your antenna. And easy. And then let's rock and breathe. Rock the pelvis, exhaling, finding that liquid ability of the body, that suppleness, exhaling and rocking the pelvis, 
That's all the end of that. Oh, there. Oh, good. Now there's all your hair in. Good. Elbows back behind the chest. Kind of pop your heart forward. Roll your pelvis. Just make friends with the flexibility in your body, the mobilization in the body, the mobility. Three more. One, two, three. And then easy. Rub your hands together. Straighten up the spine. Get your hands nice and warm. As the winter approaches, this will be more difficult. So really give yourself, since it's yourself, give yourself a good rub in the hands. Take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, softly cup your palms away from your eyes, but over your eyes. Straighten up your spine. Relax your shoulders, breathe in and breathe out. Kind of turn the distractions so you turn yourself inwards. We invite ourselves to cultivate an intimate relationship with the breath. We invite ourselves to be the breath, to breathe the breath and to follow the breath to our yoga, the yog. That intimate void, that spacious cosmic void within. We invite ourselves to befriend ourselves and to participate in our healing. Let's breathe in and go up into Happy Buddha. Ah. Separate through that ether energy. Just self be a clear channel between the heavens and the earth. Move out through the ether body. Just feel how you feel. Such beautiful weather. You know, it's, it's why we live here in Palm Springs. Go ahead and ground yourself. For those of you not here, we're having gorgeous weather. <laughs> and easy. Wrap in and gather all that sweetness right into your heart. Hmm. And then easy, let's breathe in and lift up. Stretch way up, press in your outer legs, press down. Breathe in and breathe out and inhale, lift your head and come off sideways to your knees. Stretch your chest forward in front of your ankles and spin around that pelvic bowl. Become mobile, supple. Imagine yourself like a piece of cooked spaghetti. I don't know how that really is, but go the other direction. Find yourself exploring the range of motion of your torso, feeling the pulse of your heart reaching forward and bending back. Come into the center, anchor yourself with your sit bones, Reach your arms out, up and overhead. Twine your thumbs, drop your head back. Breathe in, breathe out softly, no noise, but let your exhale come from your belly. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, head up, stretch it up. Hold up a little more breath. And exhale, cantilever out over the edge of your mat. Stretch long arms all the way from the outer hips. You feel your fingertips reaching good. Chin is off the chest. Belly against the backbone. Tailbone holding you. Beautiful. Breathe in, breathe out. Looking down like way, but don't drop your head. Look out over the edge of the mat. <whistles> Inhale, lift up, look up. And exhale, back behind the tailbone, fingertips stretching forward. You can spread the mountain gates, spread your wings, scoop out your belly, look over your fingertips, and move a little side to side. And roll your hips, stack the vertebra from the tailbone all the way up to the cervical of the neck. Lift up, look up, and the right hand floats to the knee. 
lift up and we pulse. Keep energy in that left side of your body so you stay organized with the earth so that you have that. Andrew, you can just hold on like this. How ah, good. Hold on there. Yeah, don't hurt it, Andrew. Danny, bring your hand a little closer to your knee. That's it. So you have that kind of angle. Good. Once more. Inhale, lift up. Be up. Happy cactus jazz hands. Spin side to side. Oh, feels really good. Spin, spin, spin. And easy. To the right side. And dive. Dive on down. Elbows are up. Crown of the head to the right knee. Left leg stays anchored. Roll a little bit forward on your hips. Good. Let your crown of your head hang down towards the earth. Relax that left shoulder, Willie. <laughs> now is that free Willie? <laughs> and then Mitchie march around. I'm thinking about the lines. Mitchie march around. Go beyond that left thigh. You can press the forearm against the thigh, lift up, look over your left shoulder. Eyes are very wide. Eyeballs slip into the edge of the sockets and you create a real squeezing effect through the midsection. If you exaggerate your breath and keep breathing, you will feel that massaging of the organs, all this kind of subtle participation in balancing and well-being and efficiency of your vessel. And then Mitch march around back into the center, shimmy and shake, shake out your head, loosen it up, and then sweep the arms forward, out, up and overhead, breathe up. And on the exhale, humbly slide down the heart line, dedicating this breath to your body, to the honor, the privilege, and the adventure of housing the spirits in this most sacred of temples. Pause for a heartbeat. Slide your hands on down and shift your feet. Your hair looks so nice. Seven breaths. Yes, Will, it's your hair. I was talking to Annie. Her hair is like perfectly coiffed. Inhale, lift up and down. And Linda, I can't see your hair, of course. Four. Five. Two more, one more, breathe up, hold up, slide on down the heart line, gently just aligning with the divine, hands on the knees, stretch the chest forward and spin around the pelvic bowl. It's kind of the movement in prayer. So there's this essence of sacredness to Everything we do, we become so mental. Go the other direction. And we forget how delicious it, delicious it is to just sit with spirit, to feel angelic and graceful. Once more. Back into the center. Anchor your buns. Stretch the arms out. Reach through the fingers up and overhead. Twine the awkward thumb, drop the head back, three breaths. One more. Inhale, roll the pelvis, head up between the upper arms. Stretch up a little more. And then exhale, can leave her out over the edge of the mat, almost like you were really diving off a tall tree. Flying squirrels. Chin is off the notch, arms, upper arms, ears are between the upper arms, outer thighs are engaged. Breathing, chest forward a little more, much better. Good. And then inhale, look up. And exhale, round back behind the tailbone. Reach the arms forward. Shoot some energy out your knees. Scoop out your belly. Get wide between the wing bones. Those mounting gates, open up the backside of your heart. 
We mostly gripe about how our back feels. We hardly really ever imbue it with a sense of importance and a sense of gratitude. We're so grateful that our spine can keep us erect. Roll the pelvis, anchor the sit bones, unstack the lower vertebra, mid-back, look up, left hand out by the knee, reach up, pulse off to the side. Because you don't want to be behind yourself because it just squishes the shoulder and torques everything. You want to be off to the ang diagonal. Good. It's a little more off your knee, Will. That left hand. Good. There you go. Good breathing. How do you feel, Todd, after last week? Good. <laughs> Good, Danny, perfect. Inhale, lift up. Happy cactus, jazz hands, spin, spin, spin. Keep your chin up, Andrew. <laughs> Sounds like something your dad would say to you, right? Keep your chin up. Spin, spin, spin. Arms a little higher there, Brenda. Can't forget how to tango. <laughs> uh-huh, exactly. And off to the left and dive on down. Elbows are up, crown of the head to the floor. Roll your hips forward slightly so you get a nice reach across that right hip, that right kidney. Stomach is in, crown of the head reaching down, laying on top of that left thigh if you're able to relax. Good job, keep your tail, good job. Well, there is something for, to be said for repetition. It starts to become familiar in your body. Then you begin to adjust and increase, expand the ability. And then easy, let's Mitchy march around. Use your fingers, go off to the outside of the right thigh, lift up and look over the right shoulder. Eyes are very wide open, neck is long, belly flattens against the backbone, spin and try and parallel those shoulders. Come around, Andrew, to the other side. I think your computer is like about two beats off today. You know, come all the way around, spin over the right shoulder, look up. Sometimes it's just the bandwidth, you know, the communication is a little slow. And then Mitchie march back into the center, shimmy and shake. Sweep the arms out, up and overhead, inhale. And exhale, humbly slide down the heart line. Let's dedicate this breath to our mind and to our sweet, radiant, our kind and compassionate, our liquid sense, our creativity, knowledge, the edginess of self, the peculiarities, embrace all the aspects, always giving yourself the opportunity to align with the divine, to breathe sweetly and smoothly. And slide your hands on down. Go ahead and take the outside legs, pull them together, and let's open up the legs today. Stretch them out. Good. Rebel on the inside meridian, the, the rebar, that huge arterial flow. Keep that circulation going to the toes. And then come through the lower gut. In these times of sedentary, we have a digestion becomes something curious. And the right side up to the armpit, to the lymphatics, out on the arm, circulation in the skin, come across the upper chest, those places of well being, the thymus. Ah, go ahead and sing. Yeah, thank you. That's good. I can't hear you, but I can see your mouth drop open. Go ahead. <laughs> Thyroid, other side, side lungs, good idea. Uh huh. Good, and then shake out the hands, come around to the kidneys, just softly kind of rub from your 
lower ribs, just rubbing that side where the mobility is. We don't use the love handle area a lot. And then pat on your kidneys. We do in here, of course, because we're all about love. So we want to handle. <laughs> Top of the thighs. Take your hands back behind you. And easy, pull your legs in. And then stretch the legs out and point the toes. Open your legs wide, Andrew. That's it. Good. And pull the legs in. Oh, and push the legs out and point the toes. Lift the hips up off the ground. Ah. Lift the hips up. Lift the hips up, Danny. That's good. Straight legs, buns up. Hot potato. Good. And then lower down. And then easy. Toes to the sky. Arms out to the side. And you can hold on to the shin bones. Be easy. You're going to lift the chest up. Take your right shoulder and angle it towards the center line of your body, your mat. Angle that right shoulder blade down to the ground. Turn your head to the left. Keep the toes to the sky. Try and go on top of your legs, Danny, not on the bottom. Yeah, spread them open. That's good. Grab onto your shin bones. That's good. And then push down and lift back up. And take the left shoulder. And curl that left shoulder right down into the midline. Turn your head to the right. Continue that spiral of the spine. Kind of surrendering to the heaviness of your torso, letting the body support yourself, but try to lay down on the earth, sort of in your mind. Inhale, lift up. Breathe, lift up. Right shoulder again, rolls down to the ground. Right shoulder curls to the ground. Push the toes away from you. That's good. Hold on to that other shin bone, your left shin bone. Take your left hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, try and drop down. That's good. The other hand was good. No, your other hand was perfect, Danny. That's good. Just use your... <laughs> the smile is the best. The smile is the best. We definitely have to giggle. And push down. Did you squeeze your toes? Push down. Thanks, Ty. Ah. And then <laughs> the last time, left shoulder goes down. Turn the body. Spiral the body. Good. Are your legs open there, Annie? Breathe, Will. Ah. Go down a little deeper. It's your legs. You know where you're safe. Since it's slow, you won't hurt yourself. You'll just experiment with your edge. And then slide back into the center. And that's easy. Let the hands come back behind you. Pull the elbows together. Lift the hips up. Point the toes. Lift your chin and your chest. Look up at the sky. Well, oh, breathing. Good. And then lower back down. Nice. And take your hands to the outside legs. And go ahead and drop your head in the center. Sorry. Drop your head down into the center. Brenda, you can slide your hands down to your shins. That's good. Go, Todd. There you go. Get the, What happened to your head? It should be on your mat. <laughs> Breathing. There you go, Andrew. Breathing. Two more breaths. That's good. Hang in there. Talk to your legs. Go, oh, I love you so much. Thank you for walking me on this path. Press down on your shins. Inhale, lift up. Open your eyes. Don't pass out. Breathe. And now take the legs. Pull them back into the center. Pull the buns back behind you. Arms up and overhead, the buns. And exhale, bow down over the straight legs. Shake the legs, move the toes, wiggle the shoulders. Can rock a little bit side to side to loosen up the hamstrings, good. And three breaths, start at the tailbone, hands off side the body. Stack the vertebra, let the big breath come into your chest and lift your arms up and overhead and then bow down. And inhale, lift up. 
and bow down and inhale up and bow down and inhale up and hold the arms up take the hands by the side open the feet up and jump up into picnic table now shake out that joint that joining area of your legs into your rump open and close your mouth good right leg to the sky move the foot around on the ankle lower down left leg to the sky move the foot around on the ankle good job lower down hips up nice flat open chest to the heavens breathe in breathe out once more inhale the head up drop the tail down grab your pillow hug your thighs into your chest i realized that we haven't been doing very much abdominal work in this class any core work good prancing horse thighs to the belly <laughs> keep them up high, up higher todd <laughs> as like swimming right good keep the spine tall that's pretty keep the ribs right next to the thighs that's good find your bun balance both legs up now push the heels shoulders down thighs right against the ribs gazing at your pedicure that's good that's good shoulders down chin off the chest looking at the toes that's good breathe in breathe out hold the thighs stretch the legs out hold the thighs stretch the legs out long keep looking at the <laughs> at the toes toes lift the chest squeeze the midline of the legs together higher don't let them fall don't let them fall no 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 get them up now if you're in the mood squeeze the midline arms by the side breathe one two three touch the toes one two three up out over exhale bend your elbows good job ah would be the operative word the sigh that release of the anxiety of the tension of the challenge walk the hands on back and easy keep something underneath the tailbone if this hurts your lower back or gives you a little bit of a aggravation then keep yourself erect and just practice holding your toes off the ground if you're able we go again into straight legs roll the shoulders lift the toes to parallel to the ground and then straighten the legs hold that midline activate your mula bandha good job stretch the toes a little higher go will a little higher good pull the spine strong and long look at the toes breathe in breathe out squeeze arms by the side breathe one breathe two chin up chest up squeeze and one two three up out that's good yes yes and then drop down good job oh hooray rock a little bit side to side excellent well done everybody relax linda i'm sure you were great <laughs> and easy walk your hands back on in let's just softly jump into happy baby seated happy baby fish hook your toes that's good if you worry about your toes then you can always hold your ankles but if you kind of hold your toes you can stretch that leg out open the right leg out bring it back in pull the thigh behind the ribs lower down left leg opens up swings out that's a good place to hold it bring it back into the center swings in and down both legs jump up and just find yourself seated that position of 
vulnerability, strength, long spine, shoulders down, squeeze your wings together, pull your stomach in. That's good. Hold them a little closer. Try and get the thighs. You can maybe hold your ankles, Danny, and get those thighs back behind. That's good. Yay. Oh, hello, honey. I'm home. There you <laughs> Breathing. That's good. A little wider, Brenda. What happened? No, honey, to come home. Open the legs. Shoulders down. Lift the chest. That's good. Hang in there, Andrew. Right there. You got it. Seated. On hey, Arriba, Danny, DK, Arriba. Sit easy. That's good. Todd, a little wider. Now, starfish. <laughs> long legs, long legs, strong legs. Then grab them back. Good job. Arms back together. I mean, the legs back together. Arms overhead, arms by the side. Two and three and touch the toes. Boom. Up, out, and over. Excellent. 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 Breathe in, breathe out. Folded position. Notice the heartbeat. Hey, David, when did you show up? Be careful. I haven't seen you the whole time. And Karen, I can't, that yours, who I wanted to ask how your husband is. But all I can see is your ceiling. Be careful, easy, breathe. He's okay, he's power washing the back. Okay, <laughs> good. Well, I never got to say goodbye to him on Sunday, so good. Hang in there. Okay, you're still unmuted. Walk your hands back, because the dog will talk to me. Bring the knees in and easy. Spread the knees and let's just windshield wiper. Good job, everybody. That's good. Careful your ankle, David. Breathe in, breathe out. And easy. Come back into the center. And let's roll on over into child's pose. Roll on over into child's pose. Open your knees. Let your big toes touch. That's good. Can you get on your knees, David? And lower your knees to the ground. And just lean on your chair. That's good. You can cross your arms under your head. That might give you a little more room to relax your lower back. Good job. Be careful. Bow down, everybody. Bow down. May she reign supreme and shine her grace on us. Bow down to the earth. Yoke, find that unity with the earth. Relaxing the spine, softening the heart, softening the belly, mobilizing that energy from your tailbone up to the center of your brain. This is the default position. Anytime it all gets too much, just curl into child's pose. And easy, dig your fingertips in, lift up your palms, shimmy your wrists and your forearms. And lay your hands down and inhale up onto all fours. And easy. I changed my mat a little bit. Open and close the body, you know, saggy horse. Saggy horse and cranky cat. Oh, my cat was out till four in the morning last night. I had a heart attack. Ah. He's such a bad boy. Like you boys are bad sometimes. You're bad. You go out catting around. Shoulders are back. Good. Just articulate. Sweeping. Opening up the back. And then come back into the center and 
Shake your tail out, wag your tail. Roll your shoulders back. Look at your forefinger and your thumbs. Activate the midline of your arms. Curl your toes and sit back on your heels and press with the heels of your hands. So you really open up your feet. Try and get your rump on your heels. Good job. Drop the shoulders. Squeeze the inner elbows together like you were hugging a tree. Uh-huh, that's good. Strong in the upper body, that's good. And then inhale back up onto all fours. Curl the toes, I'm gonna keep the toes curled and lift your bottom up about six inches. Go into a little low crouch, a little low crouch. And then stretch the heels up to the sky. Keep stretching the arms and pressing the hands so the earth is pressed away from you and pedal your heels. Pedal your heels. Stretching the calf out. Be careful of that tendon, David. You might have to modify on one side. Don't worry about that. Just be kind to yourself and be careful. Be cautious. Both heels are nice and high. And let's inhale directly into plank. Inhale directly into plank. Pick up one hand, pick up the other hand. Pick up the foot, pick up the foot. Keep your head in line with your spine. Keep breathing would be wise, DK. Breathing is helpful. I can tell. Good. Keep your head up. Keep your buns down. Your bosoms over your thumbs. Your belly to your backbone. Bear your own weight. Really, what happened? If we haven't done this in so long, three more breaths. One, <laughs> two, three, and easy. Drop your knees down. Goodness, what I do, give you a breath. Drop your forearms down. Lift your knees back up. Low plank. Suffer. Low plank. Press on your forearms. Lift your buns up. Lift your knees up. Here you go. Slide your um, shoulders right over your elbows. Breathing in, breathing out. Hello, it's not relaxing time. That's it. Arriba now. Arriba. Are you relaxing? Two of you are relaxing. I won't. Come along now. Chippa chippa. Lift your head a little bit, Todd. Drop your hips. Ten more seconds. You can handle it for 10 seconds. Get yourself off the earth. Press on your elbows. Press on your toes. Press on your fingers. Breathe like crazy. Three, four, five, six. Don't give up. No, don't give up. It's so close to 10. You're more than half eight, nine, and lower down. Oh, flatten down. Cross your arms underneath your head. Turn your head to the side. Let your heels drop open. Take a nice deep breath. Just rest with the earth. Relax. Circulate. Stimulate. Release. Cleanse. Just breathe easy. And then easy. That's good, David. Then cross the head the other way. I mean, cross the arms the other way and turn your head and look the other direction. That's good breathing. I can barely see your head, Karen. I can see it. Could just relax. Just relax down there. Just ah, Let your heels drop out. Remind yourself that this is that ancient supplication, that ancient surrender to the power of the earth, the mother. And as you lay your body on her, may she reign supreme and shine her grace on us. May we combat the choices that are being made that harm her like the Arctic. 
easy. Come back into the center. Pull the legs together, ankle bones together, inner knees together. Straighten your legs, David. Slide your hands, your elbows underneath your shoulders and just rock up into happy and proud sphinx. Pulling the stomach and the lower ribs away from the pubic bone. Sliding the elbows back so the chest comes through your upper arms. Good, then look over the shoulders and see if you can see your ears. No, that's wrong, your heels. <laughs> You're also obedient. How can you look over your shoulder and see your ears? Really? No, your heels. And the other side, come back into the center, stretch the chest up. And then roll slowly down, squeeze the legs, roll down till the bosoms touch and stretch your arms back behind you, reaching so you're flying like Wonder Woman. Shoom, 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 shoom. Arms are back behind you. That's good. Head is up, chest is up, squeezing the shoulders together. Good job. Strengthening the back. You can grab the hands if you want. Whichever way is comfortable for you. That's good. That's good. Squeeze. Stay there. Excellent. Hare Krishna. Here we go. Three more breaths. And then lower on down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and hinge back towards your heels. Stretch your spine out. Stretch your arms long. Drop your forehead to the mat. Keep your fingers long away from your body. And then round the back and inhale up onto all fours. Go ahead and organize yourself. Take your right leg back behind you. Oops, sorry. Your right leg back behind you. Keep it even with the ground. Stretch your left arm up. Polarization, opposite. Left arm by your ear. Keep your head in line with the spine. Push through the heel. And then go ahead and thrill seek if you wish. Fold that back ankle in and lift up. Very good. Good. Lift the thigh. Breathe. Careful. Andrew. Careful. And then release. <laughs> that was good. Kind of dancey. And open and close the body. Give yourself a couple of undulations. Ah, wag your tail, loosen up that backside, that muscle structure of the body, come back into the center and easy. Stretch your right leg out. No, your left leg out. Tell me, is it left leg? Yes. Good. Be strong, be organized. Then lift up that right arm. Make sure that the supporting arm is engaged at the Bones are stacked up so that you have a good support. And then easy, if you want a thrill seat, go ahead, grab that leg, lift your chest, lift your chin, lift the thigh, kick that foot into your hand and release and lower down. Undulate, undulate, wag, wag, wag. And easy. Take your right leg back and see if you can step the right leg forward between your hands, your foot. And just drag the foot up there and walk the right foot towards the front of your mat. So you end up tipping over the top of your back knee. So you're not pressurizing that back knee. And then easy, bring your hands by the front toes. Spider fingers are great or bricks are great. And just roll your shoulders back and look up, stretch, look up, stretch that thigh out. Good job. And easy, you can take that left hand out and open up your right arm towards the sky.
and lower that right arm back down. Lift your back knee so that you're in runner's lunge for just a minute. Just to practice not breaking your fingertips off, just activating the underbelly of your body. Lower that back knee down and stretch that front leg. And then sit back towards the back heel, pull the right toes towards your nose. Just giving yourself that sensation of range of mo movement. Wiggle your hips slightly, pulling back in the right hip. That will change the stretch. Good job. Is that leg straight, Todd? Okay. <laughs> How's it feel? Yay. <laughs> And breathe in, easy release. Lift up the back knee, lift your bottom up and see if you can step into plank. Lower the knees down. Bring that left foot forward between the hands and keep walking that left foot forward so you roll off the back knee so you're not on the back kneecap. Good, we'll take a little larger stance. stance. Can you spread between the heel and the knee more? That's it exactly. Yes, even more. Excellent. Hands by the side of the toes. Lift the chest up. Simply just stretching, lifting. Shoulders are down and away, chest is forward. Good, and then easy, take the right hand on the ground, take the left hand, open up and curl the body. Good job. Stack the shoulders. Good job. Breathing. And lower down. And easy, hands by the front toes. Just curl back your buns towards that back heel and pull those front toes towards your nose. Wherever the resistance is, hang out there and breathe. You can move the hips a little bit. You can kind of tuck that left hip back, which increases. Walk your hands back a little more, Will. And then try and straighten that leg a little more. Ha ha ha, breathing. Breathing. How is it, Amy? Breathing, and then easy. Lunge back into runner's lunge, curl the back toe under, lift the back bottom up, or both bottoms up, and step back into plank. Oh, it's your favorite place again. Here we are, five breaths for life. What is it? It's Tuesday, tremendous Tuesday. Inner thighs are part of the dance. Bazooms are over the thumbs. Belly to the backbone, squeeze the bottom, smile, lift your head, look over each shoulder, distract yourself. Three more breaths. One, one and a half, two, two and a half. Stay organized. Three, good job. <laughs> He's gone wild. Drop your knees down, drop your chest down, slide through, slide your hands forward into proud sphinx. Rock your hips. Lower back down, hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale onto all fours, cross the ankles. Sit back and you're gonna roll back onto your backs on your mat. You're gonna lay yourselves down. Hug your knees into the chest. Equalize the spine, equalize the sacrum, that pelvic bowl, that bowl that gets out of whack because one side we favor more than the other. So then it reflects in onto the back, reflects into the way we walk, reflects into the way we stand. So grab your kneecaps and spin the knees 
in that old fashioned equalizing that thigh bone is massaging the hip socket, synovial fluid, easy releasing any stress and anxiety in the lower back. And reverse the circle. And easy, hug the knees into the chest. Bring the head up and put the eyelids or the eye sockets towards your kneecaps. And then lay the head down easy. Drop the feet on the ground with the knees bent. Why don't you go ahead and open the feet and let the knees rest against each other. Kind of equalize the body. I wanted to go inverted with you a long time ago, but I forgot. Arms are up and overhead. And now feel the magnificence of your breath. Feel the ability of those unattached ribs to exhale with strength so that they close in on the lungs and slide down to the crest of your hip bones. Your belly goes to your backbone and you empty all that stale and stagnant breath out of the lungs. And then you inhale and rock the hips and lift the chest and expand the capacity of your lungs and exhale. You know, if there's one thing, well, I don't know, it's kind of a stupid comment, but the Rona, this COVID is about the breath, you know? So we want to maximize our ability to breathe, our capacity for oxygen. We want to have that response in our muscles and our psyche so strong and so with the gods that there's no way we're going to end up with that thing. We're going to keep our bodies super oxygenated, super filled with breath. I can't see you. David, you're okay? You're okay? We talk after class. So breathe in and breathe out. And now easy out. Take your knees, bring your arms to a T and take your knees and drop off to the right side. Put that right foot up on the knee and look to the left. You can tuck the knees up towards your chest if you need to. David, you can put your feet, both of your calves up on your chair and you lay away from the chair. Just get your legs, your feet above your heart. Let your spine be flat, let your arms be easy. You don't have to twist right now. And then easy, everybody exhale, roll back onto your backs, lift your, let your hips up and spin off to the spinal twist. Spin both hips to the right side, drop them down and bring the knees up towards the waist. Spiral the body, bring that top arm up and clap the lower arm. Your right knee is up towards your waist and then easy, you can unfold the body and look away from the knees, continuing that stress stretch, that spiral in the body. David, you just stay easy on your back, arms over your head, feet and calves up on the chair. And easy, roll back onto your backs, realign the hips and the shoulders, arms overhead, exhale, thread the needle, grab that left thigh, tuck it in, lower the shoulders down. Just breathe in, rock a little bit. Everybody massage that connection in the hip. Retain your mobility that juiciness, that fluidity. And lower the leg down, that left leg down, unhook the feet and bounce the hips down on the ground.
Hug the knees into the chest. Drop the feet on the ground with the knees bent. Feet are wide open, knees rest against each other, arms overhead, three breaths. One, <sighs> two, really closing the ribs, emptying. And one more, three, and exhale. Arms are gonna come around to the side. You're gonna inhale, and you're gonna exhale, roll both knees to the left. And you're gonna hop that left foot up on the right knee or the right thigh. You can tuck your knees up to your waist, depending on how your mobility is, where the glitches are in the body today. One more breath. And exhale, lower the back onto the mat. Let the knees pop back up. Your arms are outside. You're going to lift your hips up. The points of contact with the earth, the back of the skull, the shoulders, and the right foot. And now gracefully swing both hips to the left. Drop them down. Take your left arm and your left knees across the body. And then unfold so you get that spinal twist. You can add the cervical or the head and the neck, depending on how your own neck is. Feel the body spiraling. Feel the breath still moving into the ribs. One more breath. And exhale, roll back onto your backs. Realign the hips and the shoulders. Arms overhead, inhale. That left foot is still crossed across the right. Exhale and thread the needle, grab that right thigh. Work the hips. Resist, release, relax. Breathe your breath, guide your breath. Oxygen creates space. So where there's a tightness in your hip joint or a tightness in your muscle, just direct your breath to that area of the body that needs a little extra oxygen or a little extra healing. Stretch up the right leg. And lower down and unhook the legs and bounce the hips down on the ground. Bounce the hips, boom, 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 boom. Release any of that crystallization, anything that's stagnant, that's achy in that back. Too much sitting and easy. Arms are by your side. We're going to invert again. You're more than welcome to go into a complete shoulder stand of your own. Your arms are going to come by your side. Make those little fists. You're going to squeeze your elbows underneath your ribs. You're going to lift your buns up and rest on that little channel that you've made with your fists and your elbows and arms, knees into the chest, legs to the, to the heavens. The energy is in the back of your skull, on your shoulders, on your fists. You open up delighted to receive through the soles of your feet. Again, you're in this relationship with the earth and the cosmos the earth and the sun. So allow yourself to receive, feel yourself supported on the earth. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out, receive good straighten those legs. And let your legs go about six inches away from your chest. That's it right there. Good. You don't want to crimp. Danny, pull your legs more towards your computer. Exactly right there. That's good. Nice, Todd. Walk up, pull your shoulders together. Good, Karen. Keep them up there. Good, Andrew. A little bit closer to your body. Just a little right there. And stretch the back of your knees. You stay for 10 more seconds. Imagining you're receiving, breathing, 
feeding the digestion, feeding the complexion, feeding the brain. Nice big breath and let the knees bend in down to the ground. Slowly come out, Todd, be careful on your way out. And everybody going to drop your feet, lift and stretch your hands out from underneath you. Move the fingers around in the wrists. Arms go right by the side of your body. The palms are to the earth. The elbows, again, squeeze in at your ribs. As you stretch your legs out, you're going to press down on the elbows, lift your chest, and get the crown of your head on the mat. Fish pose. Viscera are vulnerable. You can move your jaw around a little bit. David, use a steak, feeding yourself. I'll take you after class. Breathing in, breathing out. Press on the elbows. Good, lift the chest a little higher. Feel that exposure. Tuck the back, top of your crown onto the earth. Good job. Excellent. Breathing. Boy, you all look beautiful. Get that connection to the earth. Get your heart exposed and vulnerable. Five more seconds. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift the chest a little higher. Open up the throat. Open up the viscera. Yes. And easy. Tuck your chin in and slowly roll on down. Pull the knees into the chest. Rock just a little bit side to side. Stretch the legs up. You can do this part, David. Stretch the legs up. Stretch the arms out off the mat. Lift your head. Look at your toes. 30 breaths. In and out. In and out through the belly. Breath of fire. In and out through the nose. Watch your belly move. Not your shoulders, but your belly. The stronger you feel, the more you can angle the legs off your body. 10 more breaths, good. You can hold your head if you want to make sure you get a good stretch and work through the belly. That's good, lift the shoulders up a little higher, Andrew. Look up at the sky. Danny, hold your head, not your legs. 10 more breaths, breathe in, breathe out, go for it. Inhales, nice and strong, squeeze everything. And then exhale, lay everything down on the mat. Feet are wide apart, arms are wide apart. Take a big breath and relax completely into the earth. Your eyes are closed, your lips are tingly. The body is circulating. That opportunity to not squirm around, but to say, stay super quiet, large muscles immediately drop away from the bones. Take a couple of minutes, no more. I don't wanna keep it too long. Relax, stay hydrated, easy sensation of inhabiting a larger space than the limits of your skin. Feel yourself, that ether body, illuminated, sweet and golden like the honey of the honeybees. It's always about the sweetness in your heart, sweetness in your vessel. You want to stay liquid, you want to stay fluid, soft in the knees. Relax your gut. Thank you.
find yourself easy, happy, healthy, holy, grateful for this journey that we take together. Grateful for your commitment, for your energy, for your memory, what day it is, what time it is. Grateful for your ability to tune in and participate. I'm grateful for your ability. So softly, if you wish, you know you're more than welcome to stay in Shavasana. And if you wish, you reconnect with your breath into your navel point. You scan the body and notice how sweetly you rest. Notice how sweetly you rest. The breath get a little larger and move into your fingertips and your toes. Slide your thumbs across your fingertips and reconnect the nervous system. You easy and you exhale, take your hands to your heart and gather in all the wonders of conscious living. Gather in the joy and the abundance and your momentary well-being. And you remember how beautiful you are, that you're a dearly beloved child of the gods. You're super well protected, well blessed. And then lace the fingers, twine the fingers, roll the arms up and overhead, stretching the palms away from your crown. Easy. Wiggle a little bit, flutter your eyelashes. Open and close your lips and step your straight legs together and just go, oh, wow. I'm so excited to be alive. And then exhale, easy. Tuck your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. And we're going to stay relating to the divine feminine. You're going to roll to your left to come up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Find yourself easy, rooted, grounded, trembling and tingling at your crown, earth bounded, and feel that divine warrior energy in you, that energy of righteousness and protection. Spread your arms out, up and overhead, breathe in. Palms together, baby finger and thumbs stay connected. Burst open your lotus petals and make your chalice your cup. Slide on down your heart line till the thumbs nestle at the breastplate, receiving that same energy that you receive through the soles of your feet. Exhale the fingertips together. We find ourselves again and again in this ancient and sacred greeting, this place where we bow and we honor and we welcome and we greet and we empower that divine spark, that beautiful light within ourselves and others. And we know the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood. We thank ourselves for being present and a part of. Thank you so much for being part of this virtual urban yoga experience. And we expand more to hopefully soon be sometimes in person just to familiarize ourselves with each other. Namaste. Thank you so much.